Hello students, welcome to this learning session on ICT for grade 9. This lesson is part of the multimedia unit. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create comic strips using an authoring tool. Let us start by looking at the contents of the lesson. We will first see what comic strips are, what are the different elements of comic strips, what are authoring tools, how to create a comic strip using PowerPoint as an authoring tool. We will have a quick test to assess your understanding of your lesson. And finally, a recap to end the lesson. Comic strips. A comic strip is a series of drawings that inform or tell a story using very few words. The drawings may be arranged in different ways. They may be arranged horizontally, vertically, or as a box. Elements of comic strips. A comic strip consists of panels, characters, speech balloons, and captions. Let us look at each element in detail. A panel in a comic strip is a space that contains a single scene. A panel usually has the shape of a square or rectangle. In the comic strip below, we have three panels. Panel 1, panel 2, and panel 3. A panel is also called a frame or a box. Comic strip characters. A character is a person, an animal, or an object in a story. Characters perform the actions and speak dialogue. In the comic strip below, we have two characters. A man, that is a person, and a cat, that is an animal. A character speaks through a speech balloon, also called speech bubble. The text that the character is speaking is found inside the speech bubble. Each bubble has a tail. The tail points to the character who is speaking. Types of speech balloons. Speech balloons, also called speech bubbles, are used to show what the characters in a comic strip say or think. Different types of speech balloons are used depending on how and what is being said. Here are some examples. The general speech balloon. A general speech balloon shows what a character is saying out aloud. The whisper speech balloon. Whispered dialogue is indicated by a balloon drawn using dots or dashes. A whisper speech balloon shows that a character is whispering some words. The thought balloon. A thought balloon is shaped like a cloud. Its tail is a line of circles and points towards the character's head. 
a thought balloon shows what a character is thinking. Shout or scream balloon. A shout or scream balloon is spiky and has a long tail. It indicates someone screaming or shouting. The text in the balloon is larger, bolder and capitalized. Captions Captions feature the voice of the comic strip writer. They inform the reader about the characters and where and when something is happening in the images. This panel contains a caption indicating the time, character and the event. Sound effects. Sound effects are words without bubbles that imitate sounds. The louder the sound, the larger the word. Repetition of letters shows duration. Here are some examples. Authoring tools. Authoring tools are computer programs, that is software, that allow the creation of multimedia applications such as comic strips. Using an authoring tool, we can insert and manipulate multimedia objects such as panels, pictures of characters, speech bubbles, captions, and sound effects. PowerPoint is an example of an easy to use authoring tool. Let us now see the steps to create a comic strip. First you have to put your idea of a comic strip on paper. Think of a short story, the character or characters, Decide on the number of panels, write speech or captions or sound effects for each panel and create the comic strip using an authoring tool. Let us see an example of the steps to create a comic strip. Think of a short story. For example, the COVID-19 prevention guide, the characters, it could be a small girl or boy. Decide on the number of panels. In this story, we are going to have four panels. Write speech, captions and sound effects for each panel. In panel one, you are going to tell what is COVID-19 and how it can be avoided. Panel 2, wear a mask. Panel 3, social distancing. And panel 4, sanitize and wash hands regularly. Here is an example of how you can put your ideas on paper. Search and download pictures from the internet and save on your device. Creating a comic strip using PowerPoint. Start PowerPoint. Select blank presentation. Right click on the slide. Change the layout of the slide. To black slide. Once we have a black slide, we can start inserting elements that will make up our comic strip.
to insert the panel click on insert then click shapes select rectangle from the list of shapes available to insert a picture select the insert tab click on pictures then click on insert pictures from this device select the folder where you have saved your downloaded pictures and choose one to insert in a panel to insert speech bubbles select the insert tab again click on shapes select a shape from the call out section this section has shapes such as speech bubbles and thought bubbles here is a comic strip panel 1 panel 2 panel 3 and panel 4 We learned about comic strips and its different components. We also saw how an authoring tool such as PowerPoint can be used to create comic strips. We will now have a quick test to evaluate how well you understood the lesson. There will be some multiple choice as well as some true-false questions. Read the questions carefully. You will have a few seconds to give your answer. Here comes question 1. Question 1. A comic strip is a sequence of Option A. Symbols Option B. Instructions or Option C. Drawings The correct answer is option C. A comic strip is a sequence of drawings. Question 2. Dialogue spoken by comic strip characters is shown in a speech. A. Caption. B. Balloon. Or C. Box. Dialogue spoken by comic strip characters is shown in a speech balloon. Option B is the correct answer. Next question. Microsoft PowerPoint can be used as an authoring tool. True or false? Microsoft PowerPoint has all the features to be used as an authoring tool. The statement is therefore true. Question 4. An animal or an object cannot be a character in a comic strip. True or false? This statement is false. Any one of a person, animal or object can be a character in a comic strip story. Last question. Creating a comic strip does not require any form of planning. True or false? There are several steps in creating a comic strip, hence a thorough planning is required. The statement is therefore false. So that was the last question of our test. I am sure you were able to give the correct answers to all of them. 
It's time now for a recap of what we learned today, creating comic strips. Let's go for the recap. We learned that a comic strip is a series of drawings, each with a small amount of writing. The main elements of a comic strip are panels, characters, speech balloons, and captions. An authoring tool is a software that can be used to create multimedia applications. Using an authoring tool, we can insert and manipulate multimedia objects to create a comic strip. PowerPoint is an example of an authoring tool. The recap brings us to the end of this video lesson on creating comic strips. I am sure you enjoyed watching it. So until we meet for another lesson, I wish you all plenty of success in your studies. Goodbye. Thank you.